Hey everybody, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. For today's review, I'm going to be reviewing the new 2012 Discover the Force line in 3D Tusken Raider. This is an awesome figure that I highly recommend picking up. Returning back to my old review style, um, I really like this review style a little bit better. So let's take a nice look at the packaging first. Here's that we have a nice Tuscan Raider logo there, as well as some very nice, nice detailing on the packaging, including these nice 3D glasses. Tuscan Raider there, Tuscan Raider there, and Darth Maul at the top. Let me just show you guys that. Here we go. On the back, of the packaging we have Tuscan Raider. Um, 3D picture, which you could cut out, which looks very nice. You could take a nice look at that with the 3D glasses if you guys want to. And nice description there. You guys are welcome to pause. So that is the Tuscan Raiders packaging. Now we're going to take a nice look at the actual Tuscan Raider figure. As you can see, it looks very nice. There's some very nice sculpting details, as well as some very nice articulation and paint apps. So, guys, First and foremost, let's take a nice look at the accessories he comes with. He comes with this sniper rifle, which we see him use in Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, which they sniped through his pod racers. And we have a nice cloak, which looks very, very nice. Nice soft goods, too. So you could use it on some other figures. Sort of look like VX Search's uh, cloak, but, you know, pretty cool. And, whoopsies. Whoops, there we go. And here's the Tuscan Raiders uh, facial sculpts. It looks very nice, as you can see. His facial sculpt in the front is very accurate to as we've seen them in the movie, episode 4 and 1. And as you can see there, he has some very nice sculpt in there as well. With those nice pocket pouches there and a little... It's like a little thermal detonator or something there. Not really thermal detonator, that'll blow his head off. But I really don't know what that is. Uh, so it looks like he has bandages. Um, sorry about that, guys. Wrapped around his whole head. As you can see. I don't know if those are bandages or not, but you really don't know what this is. I remember these guys getting demolished in episode 2 by Anakin because he's really mad that they killed his mom or captured her. His mouth looks really weird, too. Looks like it's open. He has some very nice soft goods as well as on the mandress, which I like to call mandress. Yep, mandress. Looks very nice. Um, another thing. Uh, Hasbro has done a magnificent job sculpting the uh, cloak he's wearing underneath his uh, big soft goods cloak, as you can see. Let me just get a quick zoom in shot, guys, and I will show the shadow here. <laughs> I don't want to reflect the shadow. Oopsies. It's a little more back. Here we go. Um, so, as you can see, it looks very nice. Sculpting details looks a little bit better without the shadow. There's the Tuscan Raider. This is a very, very nice figure indeed. And underneath the dress thing, he has just regular legs. And so that's the Tuscan Raider. His, um, underneath the cloak. And so now let's take a nice look at his articulation. In terms of articulation, the Tuscan Raider has a ball joint on the head, a ball in shoulders, swivel elbows, swivel wrists, swivel hips, uh, swivel uh, knees, I mean ball hinged uh, knees and ball hinged ankles. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, as I said, he does come with a sniper rifle. 
could get them into some very nice poses with their articulation. The only thing that I don't like about their articulation is, of course, the swivel in the elbows. But that does allow you to move his, remove his elbows. So his elbows and his wrists are removable from his whole body. You can see there. So his wrists, let's put that back on for now. Ow. And there is the Tuscan Raider. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. We'll be back with some more reviews really soon. So stay tuned for those. And I'm back, guys, with my reviews. Sorry about the lack of reviews lately. Uh, one more thing before we go. We're going to take a nice look at the Tuscan Raider pose. So, uh, yeah. And another thing that is coming is uh, a movie, little movie clip thing before each review. So stay tuned for that, guys. And I'll be back with a non-Star Wars review real soon. And that will be on the lion -O from uh thundercats and so stay tuned for that until next time guys peace out keep collecting and as always may the force be with you